Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Lichona njani masquera sei ni twile viani. Lichona njani livugenjani all around the world. My name is Loveness Wesa, and I welcome you on Loveness Peace and Harmony Show. Today it's September fifteenth, two thousand and sixteen, and I I've decided that um, I'm gonna be giving you a lot of singing in in this show from now on. Because every day of my life, there is a new song. Every day of my life, there is a new song. And for years and years, I've been waiting, uh, thinking, oh, okay, I'll bring the musicians yeah, so we can, we can go and record. And, you know, so I've decided, you know, I'm just going to sing over here without the instruments and uh, so we can heal each other. For right now, I want to welcome you with a song. And this song is, um, it's like a welcome song. I use it for healing. It's a healing song as well. And... And um, it just glorifies the beauty of everybody saying, hello, hello, how are you? I love you. You know, um, also talks about how you should love one another, how we should love one another, um, you know, and how we should be uh, unite and, and be one people, you know, love one another equally and and just when you look at somebody, just think about the good that you can give that person, you know, instead of hurting them. What, what's the good thing you can uh, give to somebody who's not feeling well today, who's not in the good mood today? So that kind of stuff. So here goes the song. Aloha, yeah, aloha, aloha, yeah, aloha. San bonani, nonke san bonani, san bonan, giti san bonan. San bonani, nonke san bonani, san bonan, giti san bonan. Moroi, mese moroi, moroi, oh moroi. Moroi, me say moroi, moroi, dati moroi. Doku dai, me say doku dai, doku dai, dati doku dai. Doku dai, me say doku dai, doku dai, dati doku dai. Ai e e o e i, ai e o e e ai e. Aloha, oh aloha. Tanda nani nonke tanda nani. Tanda nan, giti tanda nan. Tanda nani nonke tanda nani. Tanda nan, giti tanda nan. Dana nai me se dana nai. Dana nai, dati dana nai. Dana nai me se dana nai. Dana nai, dati dana nai. Bamba nani nonke bamba nani. Bamba nan, giti bamba nan. Ye ya hi ye hi ye wo ye hi. A hi ye hi ye ye ya hi ye. Oh, I love you, everyone. I love you. I love you. I say I love you. I love you, everyone. I love you. I love you, I say I love you. Love one another, yeah, yeah, love one another. Love one another, I say love one another. Love one another, yeah, yeah, love one another. One another, that he love one another. That he da na na, he me say da na na, he da na na. That he da na na, ah he eh, he eh, oh he. Ai e ye ye ya ye u ai e ye ye o ye ai 
yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love you, Jesus, I love you. I love you, I say I love you. I love you, Jesus, I love you. I love you, I say I love you. Oh, white ara, yeah, yeah, white ara, white ara, mama white ara. White ara, yeah, yeah, white ara, white ara, mama, mama, white ara. I love you, yeah, yeah, I love you. I love you, mama, mama, white ara. I love you, yeah, yeah, I love you. I love you, mama, mama, white ara. Oh, white ara, I love you, white ara, white ara, mama, mama, white ara. White ara, forgive me, white ara, white ara, mama, mama, white ara. White ara, forgive me, white ara, white ara, mama, mama, white ara. Hey, ay, hey, 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 I love you, da o ye, da o dan, da o da o da o dan, da o dan. I love you, da o ye, da o dan, da o da o da o dan, da o dan. Forgive me, da o ye, da o dan, da o da o da o dan, da o dan, da o da o da o dan, da o dan, da o da o da o dan, o da o dan. Thank you so much for listening. And um, what I really do with these songs is um, I use them for healing. So I do believe that they carry some healing energies in them. I've seen people heal and, um, and I guess I will be talking about today. Um, it's the healing journey that I am on. And as most of you know, I call it my journey to loveness because I believe that I'm returning to myself. And to return to myself is to know my true self, is to know the strength and the weaknesses that I carry with me. And the strength and weaknesses that I carry into the community that I live in and um, with that strength, I know I do, uh, that I do also um, uh, share my strength with my community, with my children. 
and um, with everybody that I come across. Um, I'm not going to say much about what I do or what I am, but I, all I know is that I, I, I love. I am full of love and um, compassion and um, um, it gets emotional because it's that real. It's um, something that I wish that the communities I live in and the world at large can realize that we are love and nothing else but love and uh, be able to give one another that love that we are, you know, without even talking to somebody, you can radiate your love to somebody who's just passing by. And, and I see that happen a lot when I'm, I'm walking and when I talk to people and, and with that, so I want to share that with all of you, wherever you are around the world. Uh, healing comes from within. Healing comes from love. Love melts all blockages. That's what my, my teacher says. And I see that happening in my life. Uh, Master Shah says love melts all blockages. And Master Shah is one of uh, the respected people in the, in the world today with the love that he carries for us, for all of us, for all of humanity. And um, whether he knows us or he doesn't know us, he has so much love for everyone. And he's healing 24 seven. That's how much he loves people. He will spend most of his time healing people. And I'm just grateful that I've been able to have this opportunity in this lifetime to meet such an amazing being uh, who carries so much love and that love just melts the blockages as I see it and as I'm also experiencing it as I'm living it my teacher Master Shah says if you want to know if the pear is sweet taste it and I'm tasting it with the love that I am the more I love myself the more I radiate love out, and the more I love myself, the more I love other people, the more I'm more compassionate, and uh, the more I feel I need to help more people feel the love that I am. And so doing that, I do it by healing. And um, I will share my a few of the stories, because there's plenty of them, of my healing journey. Um, I am one of the people who's been healed through Master Shah's teachings and Master Shah's wisdom, Master Shah's practices. He uses ancient wisdom and new wisdom using love and, um, the, you know, just sh showing love and being love and experiencing it and living it and tasting the sweetness of this love, the sweetness of this apple that Master Shah talks about. Once you come to experience the reality of it, you know that, you know, there is nothing in the world that can be this good. Because when, if you can heal somebody and if you can heal yourself from what just being yourself, from allowing yourself to be and allowing yourself to experience your true self. You know, we experience our true selves in many ways by being expressional, like express my artistic uh, 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 gifts without limitations, the way I want to express them. If I feel I want to sing, I sing. If I want to dance, I dance without somebody telling me, no, don't step that way. Hey, no, don't pitch that way. Or no, you're off key. Or you went four, five bars on this song. Or you went one bar instead of three or two. You know, everything being calculated. And if you can just flow and express yourself, that to me is love. That to me is the pair that's sweet. That to me is being your true self. But there is more into being your true self from what I'm realizing. The more I think I know myself, the more there is more to know about myself. And with that realization, I am very grateful. And most of it came because of after I met Master Shah, I had reached a point where I feel it's time for me to, to understand more because there's something here. I've always questioned life my life in my, you know, all my, my own entire life, I've always questioned there's something in life that I'm trying to understand what is it. The more I question that, the more I find that what I'm trying to understand is myself, is me, 
It's nothing else that's out there but myself. The more I get to understand myself and the, the more I get to understand the gifts that I, I possess as a human being and that there is no limitations in, 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 in a human being existence. There's no limitations. You can experience yourself deeper and deeper and deeper. It depends which way of your, your, your way you want, you want to go. You can go either way. You know, you choose what you want to experience about yourself. I've experienced many pain in myself, about myself, in my life. Not that, you know, um, I'm saying, um, I know it might sound weird, but some of the things I've experienced is the things that I either have chosen in the past to experience. And then I came in this lifetime and lived that life of pain again. And, you know, getting injured is, is so, if there is, deep wisdom about injuries, about sicknesses, about suffering and struggling. There's deep wisdom. Once we get to understand what causes that, why are we feeling this way? Why are we going through this? Life becomes better. We can approach life at a different angle without having to think, oh, why me, why me, why me? Or they did that to me, or it's that person, it's that person, and start to point at ourselves and say, these things are happening because of me. I contributed to this type of life. I contributed to this outcome. You know, whether you believe it or not, everything you're going through is something that you contributed to, either in this lifetime or in a past lifetime. So once we come to that understanding of that wisdom, we can unravel that so that we don't relive that same mistake again. Because what we're living when we are suffering is the mistakes we did. So it's like you're living your own mistakes. So with that realization, I've come to open more to myself to understand more deeper, you know, and instead of blaming other people, I can look at myself and say, oh, okay, this is happening because I did this, or I once did this to somebody. And, you know, it's karma and karma comes back in a good, in, a, in, a, in, in all ways, good way or bad way. So, and we have to experience it. We will experience it whether we want or not, because it's what we created. We are what we create. We are creators of our own lives. We are what we think. We are what we do. We are what we, we talk. We are what we, uh, we believe in. You know, what we're seeing, what we, we write. When I'm saying I'm writing a book, that story I'm writing, I might leave that story. So we have to be careful what we create. So with that realization that I am the creator of my own reality and, uh, and coming to that deep realization of the truth of that saying makes life much easier. So um, I'm just very grateful that I was able to meet Master Shah. So after meeting, meeting Master Shah, I was able to help many people. And I'm, I'm be, I believe that I'm still here to help even more people, if not millions of people. I would love to help as much people that needs my help as a healer. You know, I've seen people uh, struggle and come out of that struggle. I'll give the examples of what kind of healing I've seen happen in my life during my healing journey. Uh, I, I myself was healed from many injuries. I have had uh, a knee injury on my right knee. I had an ACL tear in 2006. And there is a surgery. And then the following uh, in 2009, I had a back injury and hip. And uh, as I was healing that, I had to have uh, my, uh, my shoulder surgery as well because another ligament tore as well. And as I was going through the healing, it was one injury after the other. So I was, as I was going through that injury, and as each injury came, I had questions. First of all, why me? Why me? Why only me? I'm doing the best I can. I'm being a good person here. But why am I going through all what I'm going through? And, uh, you know, anyway, after that, I got another injury again on my left knee. So in reality, it's like three of my limbs have been broken and uh, ligaments being broken. And so I felt the pain of that and pain before even that. So I understand what pain feels like. This healing that I had to go through myself, I, I was questioning, I was like, I'm looking for something that can help me heal this. 
you know the doctors want help really i do exercises and all that but there is this is there should there must be something more to this so i was that's when i discovered master Sha, and through master Sha's practices i was able to to you know to dance again from all those injuries and i'm just back on the dance floor again right now and feeling really uh, much way better i can i, I can dance for a, a few more hours than i used to uh uh three two years ago and from there i was able to help my mother with the help of also the uh other master Shah's divine channels and, and divine channels in training mother. we were able to heal my mother through the divine of course because what i only do is i open and, and allow the divine to come through me and say yes i am willing to offer a healing and the healing comes and i give it uh, it's not me who creates that so it's not like i am a power person i love this is, is some power or something it's not me it's, it's a matter of asking you ask the divine divine may you please offer healing is it okay to offer some this person a healing the divine says yes and say okay may you please offer so i ask the divine again to offer that healing you know and uh and it happened the healings happen so i, I want to, people to understand that it's not like oh loveness thinks she's something you know i'm i'm, I'm just a human being <laughs> not not like you know anything that's amazing i'm just a human being that's allowing to help others through um you know opening of my heart and so through that my mother has been healed and then i uh, i'll tell more of the stories as time goes on but however I, I wanted to mention that there is uh, also there's been uh, two individuals who've been out of a coma uh, through this kind of healing and also there has been um, somebody also has come out of paralysis that i've helped also through opening of my heart and allowing and asking the divine and master Shah and his teachings to help with uh, the healing process and I've seen that happen also and uh, just as of a few weeks ago another beautiful a miracle healing has happened and it's just amazing stuff that I just wanted to give thanks to and say to master Shah I cannot thank you enough master Shah for this uh, uh, healing that you are helping us realize and uh, for these wisdoms and teachings that you are giving us to be able to connect with our true self and understand that we have the power to heal ourselves and to also help others see that they also have the power to heal themselves and to realize that together me and everyone else together we can help the world we can heal the world and um, I would love to uh, to offer that uh, opportunity to all of you so you can reach out and see how you can heal your loved ones, you know, no matter how bad it, the situation is, no matter what the doctors have told you, you know, there could be, there could be a solution to your problem. Just keep looking and reach out. We might be able to help with other people around, you know, I'm not saying we can heal everything, but divine is amazing. He heals things that I never thought possible. And, um, with that, I would like to thank you so much for watching Loveness, uh, Peace and Harmony. Oh, sure. Thank you so much. Love you, love you, love you. How?